Heading into the main event for UFC 154, there were so many questions concerning George St. Pierre, his health, his layoff, that knee, and the vast majority of them were answered with a dominant performance over Carlos Condit. The only way that performance could have been better is if he finished him sometime within the five rounds. That was absolutely amazing. GSP not only took that 18-month layoff and admitted he had ring rust when he went in there, but then he showed one sign of it as he's battling Carlos Condit. He is bigger. He is faster, he is stronger. He completely stuffed Carlos when he was on top of him. Carlos is no, take him down so what, he got back up to his feet. GSP made that not happen by holding him down half the time with one arm. GSP is that strong. Everything is completely back for GSP. Now the most damaged champion that the UFC has ever seen at the welterweight division beating Matt Hughes. Now what's gonna happen next? Well, the real thing is George St. Pierre showed an incredible ground game, always adjusting his hips and squaring up every time Carlos Condit had some sort of you know, damage for him. Then, it wasn't really answered in the post-fight interview. What is next for George St. Pierre? Is it Anderson Silva or is it Johnny Hendricks who beat your friend Martin Kamen in the co-main event? Man, he destroyed Matt, Martin Kamen in the co-main event. He had, came in, he learned a new little trick. Instead of just throwing that straight left, he throws a hook over the top to make you freeze and stand there. Then brings that straight left down the pipe and literally hit Martin so hard that he fell backwards, stiff leg, and banged his head off the canvas first. That's a scary position for a guy to land in. Now GSP has to think about that. I still think the Anderson Silva fight is going to be pushed ahead because that's what Dana White wants. But I really want to see the Johnny Hendricks fight. The wrestling is just as good. The ground game is just as good. And he's got one punch knockout power. Will we see that actually happen? It remains to be seen. We'll find out more at the post-fight press conference and, of course, on Monday's episode of UFC Central. For Frank Trigg, I'm Showdown Joe, Sportsnet, Montreal.